Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to repoint your business objects reports to a new universe uh, in business objects XI. Okay, first of all, we're going to bring up our business objects report, and you can see if I hit refresh on this remedy queue list, I'm getting an error. Um, I'm currently on query one, and it's ITSM scorecards test v2, that's the universe name there. You can see that there's a database error because we're on a test database that's no longer active. So I want to repoint this report to live. So I'm just going to close the error message. I'm going to go to edit query. And if you've got multiple queries, you'll see query one, two, three, four, so on. Uh, normally you, you come into the edit query and you're on the data tab so you can play about with your data and put your query filters in. As you can see there, I switch between data and the properties tab for that query and uh, not only can you rename the query at this point but you can also see that the universe there is on ITSM scorecards test v2 uh, in 6.5 you used to get a short name in XI um, it's now a, a long description again you get the the buttons that you do in 6.5 with the three little dots if you press that it brings up a list of available universes so you see this is a current currently used universe and uh, what I want to do is I want to repoint at this ITSM scorecard, which is the live version of that test universe. Uh, as you can see, the description there says it's CP faults live. It's version 4. I'm going to hit OK. And this brings you back um, a list of all your objects that are in your query. If you've got multiple queries, it'll show you those as well. If you've got a query 2, 3, and 4, it'll show you all those as well. And these green ticks tell me that this object exists in my current report and it exists in the universe that I'm going to. If you've got any red X's here, uh, that's because objects have been dropped off or have been lost uh, between the two versions. You can choose not to import that object and it will remove that from your report. In some instances that will break your report, so that's bad news. What could have happened is uh, they could have just changed it. So they could have changed name here to manager. Um, so if you know that you can go you can click the button you can go and browse for the object that it should come up that it, that, it sh that that you know it's been renamed to you probably have to go to the um, the person that's created the universe to tell you that basically you select the new one so for this one I could go to C name for example if that was the new field hit OK and again just click OK and that will automatically update your report you can see C name there and if we hit run query, there we go. We can see we've, we're getting data through and it's pulled through C name instead of name. So that's it. Uh, any problems, um, you can refer back um, to us at VM Business Objects at virginmedia.co.uk um, or contact the project team if this is part of a project. Thanks for watching.